London's legendary taxi drivers are the Olympic athletes of memory. Navigating the intimidating labyrinth that is central London, they must create an intricate mental map consisting of thousands of streets, landmarks, and locations. University of London scientists studying the shape of memory found ideal subjects right in their own backyard. For 150 years, every new cab driver has had to pass a grueling exam, known to Londoners simply as the knowledge. It takes most hopefuls at least two years to master, giving researchers a superb opportunity to look at how the brain adapts when required to retain vast amounts of information. Thanks, mate. Can you take me to Albert Hall? Albert Hall, yeah. Cheers. When somebody gets in your cab, they'll say, take me to so-and-so, and, -so, and it's, it's got to be like that. You've got to know instantly where you're going, which way to be pointing. So there's a lot of retention. You've got to retain a lot of what you've learned as well. Scientists suspected a particular region of the brain called the hippocampus might be the key to the taxi driver's success. Now, run me to the nearest police station. They buy up Waterloo Bridge, Ford Lancaster Place. Left if memory spread, depends right upon the hippocampus, right at the Knowledge Point School, drivers in training surely give this part of their brain a good workout. Dave, give me the name of a restaurant on Portland Road with an 80's name. Chutney Mary's. Hereford Road, where would you give me? Veronica's. After class, students like Andy Miller take to the streets. Since visual processing occupies more brain activity than all the other senses combined, it is not surprising that direct experience is an essential part of the knowledge training. You start off learning all the roads, then you have to learn all the places on every road. With all the routes that you have to do for the knowledge, you couldn't possibly do it on a map. You have to get out on your bike in the rain, the cold, the snow. You learn it bit by bit. But how does the brain retain and order all that information? As the scientists suspected, mastering the knowledge may have a physical impact on the brain itself. Their study concluded that part of the hippocampus was indeed larger than average in these drivers. In fact, the most dramatic differences were seen in the drivers who were on the job the longest. The hippocampus has a spatial map in it, and what seems to be happening in the taxi drivers is that the spatial map is laid down of central London and laying this down causes the connections to develop and grow and more of them to form and that makes part of the hippocampus get bigger. It's almost like you've somehow, somewhere up in your brain, you've created enough space to sort of slip this map in, a little bit of software. This study suggests that the adult brain can refashion its basic anatomy according to the requirements of its owner. Doctors hope these insights can be used to help restore the minds of stroke victims, Alzheimer's patients, and those suffering brain traumas.